Hi everyone, Adrian here and welcome to Wild Push and Grit. In the last video, I was explaining my cooking system. Here, I want you to join me in this solo expedition so I can show you how I actually use this system. So I'm going to cook a complete meal with it. It was a bit of a gambling, not knowing if the fishes would bite, but one did, and that was plenty. Very quickly. All right. Welcome to my kitchen, but do not underestimate the potential of such a simple setup. Wonders can happen here. So, the coffee is ready. I'm just going to pour it in my mug here. So I don't have a cooler with me. Usually I'll bring some cream or milk, but today just a batch. Coffee's ready. Now we can start cooking. So here I'll quickly prep the asparagus. You know, this if it's something you know you would do in, in advance, you could do it at home before doing it on the trail. And to be honest here, I'm kind of overcomplicating this recipe just to show you the. Um, the variety of things you can do you know with this setup here so the first step for the asparagus is i'm going to steam them using the same accessories i use to make my coffee and i'm going to cut these in half yes you understand why in a second ah sunny days very hard to shoot on sunny days so i don't need much because I don't want to boil the asparagus, I just want to steam them, right? I'm going to add the plunger to this. Here. And I'll make sure that they're not in the water, okay? So I don't know if it was clear or not, but just to make sure the asparagus don't need to touch you don't want the asparagus to touch the water, right? So you want them to be in the steam. So I'm boiling water underneath. I'm using the coffee accessories. It's already boiling, actually. Let's have a look. So the steam is coming out pretty good. And I'll give it a few more minutes. So the asparagus are ready, I mean ready, they've been steamed, I'm gonna set them aside for now and we'll stir fry, well, we'll saute them with some apple and tahini layer and garlic in a few minutes but I need to get going with the cooking.
So here what I did is I tossed the garlic and the shallots in butter and I want them to fry a little to, uh, to get crispy, you know, to have that, yeah. Pretty cool. And I can tell this is already too hot for what I need, so I need to tone that down. I want it to gently, gently cook. I'm a big fan of slow cooking. You know, I think things tend to taste a little bit better when slow cook. Maybe except steak. So this is nice. So I'll just put in the fish. And I feel maybe the fish was a bit too big for my pan. Maybe we're too low now. I'm a bit buttered by the fact that I'm not leveled. Ow. The butter is going the wrong way. I'm a bit buttered. Ha <laughs> ha ha. See what I did there. Okay. So the couscous, super easy. It's one part water, boiled, boiling water, one part couscous. When the water boil, you add your couscous, you turn off the heat and that's it, okay? So about 200 millimeters of water. What is this? Yeah, I'll try a little bit more, no fret. So as soon as this boil, I'll add the same quantity in couscous. One thing I like to do is add a little bit of salt and a little bit of olive oil. Yeah. 
it's a bit much, but it's okay. We need to add roughly the same quantity of couscous. Any bug here. You bring it back to a boil and it's already boiling. So it didn't stop boiling literally. So I'll just turn it off and cover it. And I will not touch it for five minutes. It's been five minutes and now is the time where I'll just go in and stir it with a fork to air it out a little. Just air it out, break, break the clumps. And if you have the right quantity of water, the right ratio, I mean, water to couscous, it shouldn't be soggy, okay? It will be like light and fluffy like this. Look at that, beautiful. Oh yeah, oh, oh yeah. All right, so let's dress up the plate. I hope this gave you a good overview of what is possible with this setup. The combinations are endless, limited by your own creativity and, of course, catch of the day. If you're still here with me, please subscribe, there will be more. And don't be shy, chime in in the comments. Let me know what you would like to see next. Thank you so much for watching. Be safe out there, folks. Audrin out. See ya.